Hi guys, it's Laura and Hercules. In today's video I will show you how I made Hercules' this year's Halloween costume. And this year is a little bit special because I made also a costume for his favorite toy. He's got this plush lion and that's basically the only toy he plays with. And I thought it would be fun to make something that would go with Hercules' costume, so I have decided to make Count Dracula and Mr. Renfield. And if you want to know how I made their costumes, then please keep watching. So here is the sketch of my pattern. Now I made the cape cut out in these bat-like shapes around the edge, because I thought it would look a little bit more vampire-like. This line represents the length of Hercules' back and the shorter line here is the distance from Hercules' neck to his belly where I will sew on an elastic band so that the cape wouldn't turn when he's wearing it. And the neckline is basically the circumference of Hercules' neck measured very generously because I want him to feel comfortable and of course I added everywhere seam allowance. Now, I made the collar shaped like this, but that would be actually the correct way. Well, I realized it a little bit later, but hey, it worked. So this is how I made the collar. About this measurement, so this is two and a half inches. And because I made the ends a little bit pointier and higher, and this height is two inches. This is how I did it. And this measurement is basically also this measurement. I thought it would be useful to see the cape first before we start making it. So this is the elastic band I spoke of. This is going to go around his back and it will end on the sides of his belly. And there is a press button made of plastic that I will close. And this is very loose. It's I measured it very generously because I never want my doggy to feel weird in the costumes. It, it's always supposed to be comfortable. And this goes around his neck and here is just a simple cord that I will tie. It is also quite loose. But the thing is when he's gonna have this elastic band around his belly and then it's tied around his neck so the cape wouldn't turn because that would happen if you would tie it only around his neck. So this is how it looks like from the inside. The fabric that I have used, so this is a regular red lining and this is a faux suede, so it is of course everything also cruelty free. First I positioned the elastic band on the lining. I have sewn the elastic band on in two rows of zigzag. Next I ironed on both color layers iron-on interfacing. And then the color parts looked like this. As a next step, I folded each collar part in the middle and I marked the middle with a small cut. I have done the same around the neckline on both cape parts. Then I aligned the middle of the lining collar to the middle of the lining coat part and I pinned the collar in place and of course I've done the same with the black side of the coat. I have sewn the collar on with a regular straight stitch. And then I positioned a cord on each side of the collar first. And I put both cape sides together, good sides facing each other, and I pinned them together. Here is what it looked like once both parts were pinned together and all excess fabric was cut off. I have sewn the parts together with a straight stitch and I left a small opening so I could turn the cape to the good side. But first I cut all pointy edges and on all curves I cut small triangles close to the seam so that the curves would have a nice shape once I turned the cape to the good side. Once I did turn the cape to the good side, I shaped all pointy and curved parts and I pinned the edges in place. Then the cape looked like this 
and I've sewn around the edge with a straight stitch. As a last step, I have sewn a plastic press button on the elastic band. And then Hercules' Dracula cape was done. He looks so cute in it. Now let's have a look at how I made the lion's Mr. Renfield costume. As a first step, I traced the lion's shape out on a piece of paper. I folded the paper in the middle and cut the pattern out, that way I was sure that my pattern was symmetrical. Then I copied the pattern on a simple white jersey and I also accounted for the seam allowance. First I pinned the upper sleeves together and I have sewn them together with stretchy overlock stitch. Once that was done, I pinned the bottom side of the sleeves and the sides also together and I have sewn all again with the stretchy overlock stitch. And then I turned the straight jacket to the good side. As a next step, I cut the ends of the sleeves back a little bit and then I put in each one of them a full suede cord and I have sewn the ends through with a very dense zigzag. And then the Lions aka Mr. Renfield's stray jacket was done. As usual, Hercules also filmed a video in which he's wearing the costume and there's also a fun story to it, so I have linked the video down below in the description box. It's on my vlogging channel. I have linked down below also my Halloween playlist, just in case you want to see all of the Halloween videos I have filmed so far. There are also videos from the previous years. Right now I'm going to take a week break because this has been a bit crazy for me. I've been also sick and I've been super busy at work and I kind of planned way too much this year but I hope you had fun with all of my this year's Halloween videos. And after my one week break I will start doing all the Christmas DIYs and I'm super excited about that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked today's video. If you did don't forget to give it a thumb up. You can also share it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. I have listed down below also all of my Instagram accounts. You are very welcome there. And thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I'm looking forward to seeing you with my next video. Bye!